turning. I guess I'm going in the middle. Okay. Thank you, Insta360, for sponsoring this video, but more on that later. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to my YouTube video. I have to go to Brooklyn. Dealing with some stuff, and I have to get over there pretty quickly. And I think I'm going to skate there because I wouldn't say it's a beautiful day outside. It's like in the mid-90s, and it's really humid, and the air quality is bad, but it's sunny outside, which means that's a good opportunity to skate. I am going to thoroughly sweat through everything and I have to bring all of like my work stuff. Today we're gonna be trying something a little bit different and then a little bit new. I'm intrigued to see how this setup performs. It's gonna be crazy fast, it's gonna be very maneuverable, we'll see. So that's what she looks like. I think that looks kind of fly, but that's just me. Tell me what you think, if you would rock this setup or if it's too bland for you. Power slide hardcore Evo, power slide Acel wheels um, with the endless 90 LR frame. We are finally making it out the door. Just grabbing my helmet. The lights are off. Put on the helmet. All right, I'll see you out there on the 360 cam. It was just warm. congestion. Anyone who tries to drive through Times Square, I still don't really understand. It makes no sense. It's just always congested. Crazy hectic stuff happening all around. Let's squeeze through here real quick. We got petty cats. I like these wheels on these boots. It is a hot one today, folks. Hot. Hot? You know what else is hot? The Insta360 X4. Thank you so much to Insta360 for sponsoring today's video. 360 cameras can be super fun and really cool, but editing 360 footage can be a little intimidating to a lot of people. Uh, Insta360 has just dropped some new features in their app, which will ensure that you get the most out of your Insta360 camera. Number one, AI editing has gotten a significant boost. The app is now able to edit smarter and quicker, giving you great shots with very minimal effort. Number two is the new movement feature. Before, in order to create any kind of movement in a 360 video, you had to add a bunch of keyframes, animate them accordingly, and then you would have movement in your frame. Now it's just add a keyframe, select a movement button, choose the kind of movement that you want. There are plenty of options and then get ready to show footage that no other action camera is able to replicate. These new updates make using Insta360 cameras even easier than they were before and should give you a reason to pick up one of these as opposed to a traditional action camera that doesn't have nearly as much latitude. Check the link in the description to grab your Insta360 export today and hit me if you have any questions. Thank you so much Insta360 for sponsoring this video. Let's get back to the action. Oops, I forgot to start my Strava. This person's gonna try to make... Wow, great U-turn, buddy. So, on your left, on my right, is Bryant Park. 
and the New York City Public Library, which is like prime, prime real estate, beautiful building, quite lovely. Hey, ambulances. I'm just gonna go ahead of this ambulance. We have a cop in the other lane. It's just gonna cause mayhem. Not the line I wanted, but the line I had to take. That was my contingency plan. Speak past this Tesla. Flat iron. Right over there. I'm just gonna keep floating down fifth. We have a little bit of flow here. There's a car double parked up here, so everyone behind has nowhere to go anyway. Thank you. I guess I'm going in the middle. Path of least resistance. Bro, it is hot and humid. Oh my goodness. I need a frozen margarita. Ben. Why there? So weird looking bends. All right, it's not my money. Okay. Got a car on my ass. Don't know why. Oh, show them. It's meant to be. A walkable city, eh? All right, we got Washington Square Park through here. I got you. Skateboarders here. But sorry, bud. Thank you. What are you doing, bud? Oh. We are now on Houston, but I need a I need a break. Yeah, I'll just grab a water. How much is it? There we go. Thanks, boss. Oh, where, where's everybody going? Ooh, this pavement sucks, ooh. That's like probably the worst place to be if you're a non-car user. We got an e-bike coming the other way. Why you would go against traffic there? Okay, so this is the house and we're gonna take this down. I'm gonna have a look at my phone for uh, some advice. I'll hop on the sidewalk to appease the haters. Sun's gonna be nice. And there we have the Williamsburg Bridge. Okay. This barbecue trailer has a little bit of gumption. There's a little bike lane here. I'm gonna take this a little bit and hop in the bike lane. training race wheels so they do not they do not slide they're not going to want to slide at all this is 
does have a lot of people that took from Manhattan. The old town of Sugar Factory on our left. We have to like earn a lot of our speed here. Uh, Harrison, Hughes. We're going through like old school Williamsburg where there is, as you can see, a large Swedish community. All right, we got yellow. Got red hair. This light's gonna be turning green. Hopefully I can get ahead of the school bus. Yeah, we're good. Slippery. Oh, okay. I don't know where we are. This is Bedford. I used to live like right around here. So I used to live in a neighborhood in Brooklyn called Clinton Hill. right around here. Ooh. Okay, we got the on-ramp here. We're going to hang a left underneath this underpass. I'm gonna hop on the sidewalk here because cars zip around here in this area. No, actually this is turns into park. Not the Schmancy Park. The Brooklyn Park, Park Avenue. Maybe I'll move back one of these days. Who knows? Now this is Myrtle. Myrtle's a two-way street. For right where Pratt, Pratt University is. The art slash design school, I think. Probably going against traffic right now, which is ill-advised. Uh, Emerson. Used to be a coffee shop. Oh, it's still there. It used to be my favorite coffee shop. I used to go there every morning. Every single morning. Haven't been there in a while. So every, it's a one way, but it alternates by two. So there were two streets going this way. Now there's gonna be two streets going this way. We're gonna hang a right down Kent, Kent Avenue. Willoughby, we got a bike lane on Willoughby. For Hank Lane is kind of like a traverse street yard here with some workout equipment over there. A track that is not made for rollerblades. I tried it, it doesn't really work. To Cobb. Lafayette, that's right. I'm gonna go left on Lafayette. We got Bedford over here. I'm gonna go left on Bedford. And uh, we are where we need to be. Um, if you like this video, click the like button. If you really liked it, click the subscribe button. Tell all your friends that interborough travel um, even on a crazy hot day is possible uh, thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one